Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Everything Now. We've got Mr. Grayson with us. He is hiring some new employees to the Everything Now organization. Uh, so I'm going to throw it to him in just a second. Uh, I know that we did get some subscri subscriptions before the show started, so we're going to do that with Mr. Grayson. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did forget there's one other thing. Uh, I have some soup. It's in the kitchen, uh, and it's going to get cold. So I'm going to head over there, grab that soup, and then I'll check back in. I'll check back in with you later. Okay, bye. Thank you, thank you, you will never thank escape. Thank you, uh, Ron Jobert. Thank you so much for, for following. And, and hello, hello, uh, the, our beautiful viewers in the chat. Um, wavy line, sounds like the business committed a deniable atrocity. Uh, guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's directly my fault uh, that when I came into the head writer position, um, a lot of people seem to have uh, perished on the show. Um, I think it might just be a coincidence. Um, I'm pushing the boundaries of what the show can be. And uh, yeah, anyway. Um, anyone else have the same recurring dream about the garbage man when you were a child or is it just me? Thank you, uh, Rob Jobert. Maybe other people have had that same dream. Um, but guys, things have been getting pretty busy over here at Everything Now Incorporated. I moved up one floor. I am now on the 14th floor out of 57, so soon I'll be all the way at that penthouse. <laughs> Raise the roof. Um, and yeah, we, uh, so since I've gotten so busy, I'm no longer the hiring and firing manager. I am the head writer though, and I've gotten pretty busy, so I'm trying to look for a new assistant. So, like we did last time, for you, all of those who weren't here last time, you guys are my board of interviewers. You will help me interview each candidate, you'll help me decide whether they stay or go. So, pay attention. Have your listening ears open, your interviewer eyes ready to scan. And uh, of course up here, uh, there's a bar. We have been getting some budget cuts uh, recently. So thank you, thank you, you will never thank escape. Thank you, Gigi Green. This is everything now. Um, I am Mr. Grayson. I am. I'm gonna hire some new people today, and you're gonna help. Uh, and if we hit five dollars, I will. Uh, I will unfortunately have to fire someone, but you guys will be in on that experience. 
So it's kind of counterintuitive because you're adding money to the business and we're taking more away, but in the end, profits are profits. I am a creative, but I also know that we need to make money. So, so uh, anybody have any... Uh, uh, speaking, uh, sorry to cut you off, Mr. Yeah, Grayson, but uh -huh. speaking of making money, uh, we did get three more subscribers before the show started. I forgot to tell you about that. Uh, oh but my gosh. we had three new subs, oh, so no we want to make sure that those people get their teddy tattoos. I gotta go yes. eat the yes. soup. Bye. Yes. Goodbye. Um, thank you to our subscribers. Thank you so much. Uh, let's play. Let's play the beautiful, beautiful uh, bumper that we that we have. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? All right, and if you're just joining us, uh, every time someone subscribes, they get to tattoo whatever they want, wherever they want it, on our good friend Teddy here. And uh, so those who subscribed, I think we got subscriptions from Ronky, uh, as well as Aiden, Wood, and uh, the last one is, if you know, shout it out. I'm just going to look on here so it's easier for me to read what's going on. Okay, uh, Aiden says, instead of tattooing Teddy, I want Mr. Grayson to softly whisper words of affection into his ear. Okay. Is that... Dr. Teacher, is that... Okay. Sometimes you think you're just a toy. You're just being used as a as a method to promote engagement and viewership. But you're much more than that. You're you're the essence of the show. You're you're what everyone loves. They the tattoos. They're, they're a novelty, but people stay because you're here. Don't you ever forget that. Mr. Grayson do a self-portrait with a nosebleed wherever there's space. And there's a link here. Oh. Do you want me to do a, self, a portrait of Andrew WK? Or do you just want me to do a portrait in the vein of this portrait of Andrew WK? Of me. Um. Oh, and hey, no, Uncle Joe Show. Nice to see you. I'm gonna start this thing. Where's their space? <clears throat> oh, right here. There's a lot of space right here. Okay. Oh, he wants the Andrew K. The portrait of you. You can see this on camera real quick over here. You can show uh, people what I'm kind of looking at. It's a link that Rocky, Ronky sent over. Andrew WK, nosebleed. So I'm just gonna try to attempt to, to mimic this.
She's got nice eyebrows. She's got a nice little point here coming down. You guys, you're so you're all so sweet. Was there one more? Who was the who was the last person? Oh, Maniac Marissa. I like to see a Smarties wrappers on on Teddy's left wrist. Great. What do you want? Where oh, do you want Ooh, it? Amazing. Um, uh, Smarties. <laughs> For the support, um, this really isn't my job, but it's okay because uh, we're all about our, our support here. So I'm doing a Smarties wrapper on the left wrist for Maniac Marissa. And can we get the gun on? Oh, I really messed this one up. <laughs> this one's really bad. <laughs> it almost, before I show you, it almost looks like if a whale um, connected with another whale at the head and had two opposite tails coming out. So it was like kind of like a cat dog whale, but only the back ends. Um, and I'll just write Smarties on there. I really nailed that one. That's right, it's, we can see it on this camera. Oh, I can do this one. Smarties! Everyone's favorite candy. And then we had um, uh, the um, Wicked Lazy. Wicked Lazy, do you know what you want, where you want it? Yes, please extend, uh, extend the rat tail haircut. Great. Well, let's make this longer. Um, So as you can see on the back here, was it Wicked Lazy that had the rat tail? Probably. Uh, but we have a, a very long rat tail that uh, Teddy is rocking here. Uh, and so we're just going to extend this. Can we get the tattoo done on here? Look at that. 
Now that's a rat tail. If I've ever seen one. Great. Well, thank you to everyone that, su that subscribed. This is amazing. What a way to start out the show. Oh, it's so great. Thank you, thank you. You will never escape. And thank you, Cheap Wrangler, for following. So yes, guys, we're here. Everything now incorporated. We're going to hire me an assistant for my incredibly hard job. Um, so yeah, how, how about we get the, uh, the, the first... Um, Dr. Teacher, can we, can we send in the first person? Uh, yeah, let me grab them. Uh, sorry, I got this soup, so. Uh, but let me go see if I can find them. Sorry, I am late. Oh, hello! Hi! Greetings. Mr. Grayson. Hi, I'm Death. Don't worry, it's not your time yet. It might be if I don't get the job. Ha 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 Um So that's like a nickname, right? What's your what's your oh, no, what's your I, full name? Uh I suppose it, it, it's I go by many names. Uh, he who walks at night, Satan, Lucifer, the chosen one. At least that's what I tell myself as my name. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm not paying the bills as well these days. I had to go freelance. And uh, you know, I think there's a lot of stability to be had here that I'm very excited about. And uh, I look forward to uh, getting to know about the job, the position. I'm, I've, I've you know, been in this business for so long, I'm looking for a change. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, uh, so, okay. So your past work history is, of course, being the master of death. Mm -hmm. um, yes. A variety of managerial responsibilities. There are the Nephilim, as you are sure you're familiar, um, the biblical creatures with extremely long uh, limbs who had the mark of Cain. Um, yeah. uh -huh. I manage them. They're actually living amongst the earth, but they uh, you can only see them if you have infrared vision. Okay. And I don't have that. Yes, yeah, so I, I, you know, I'm, I'm able to manage them very well. It's a team-based dynamic. Uh, I head the squad, and we reap the souls of the damned. It's pretty simple stuff. Like repo work, sort of, like a car, but except that it's uh, the very substance of your being. It's a little different, but comparable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, what was the name of the being you brought up again? Oh, the Nephilim. It's N-E-P-H-I-L-L-I-M. The Nephilim. Okay. Um. Oh. Okay, great. Um. So you have that past work experience. You say you've been doing freelance. What exactly does freelance work mean with the type of job that you're doing? How? <laughs> Well, you might have heard of my asshole brother, Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah, so he gets most of the business. Yeah, there's uh, some higher-ups. There's Raw Eternal Vengeance, which exists. It's, they're technically my boss previously, but now I do contracting work since, you know, the unions made it impossible. And uh, anyway, Ghost Rider reaps the souls of the damned. I get to reap the souls of the damned a little bit more. And Ghost, Ri Ghost Rider is a real, a real thing. It wasn't just a oh, movie. Yes. No, it's no. based on the real. Yes, no, it's it's not Nicolas Cage, but it's a person who looks strikingly like him. Okay. It's very realistic. It's actually a very uh, in your planet, I believe it's like a sixty on Rotten Tomatoes, but it's very very underrated. It's very true to the form of like uh, how you know soul repo works. You have the chains, the hellfire, the vague Judas priest appearance. It's all very there. There. Oh, wow. Um. Great. Uh, sorry, I'm just trying to take this all in. And you want to be my assistant. You want to help me, like, set up my meetings and take phone calls and... Well, as you can imagine, hell is really not good with logistics. I figure by having this very, very fruitful work experience, I can take the translatable labor and organization, maybe a flash drive with Microsoft Excel on it. I know the military uses that a lot. 
so that I can organize hell into a more ergonomic fashion. But first, I'd need to know how the mortal realm does business. Here I am. Okay. Um. Let's go through maybe some scenarios then. Um, let. How about you give me an example of uh, how you would handle someone that is calling to try to contact me, and then. I am very busy, so I can't be contacted right now. And you have to tell them without making them feel bad or making them feel belittled. So I will be the person on the phone trying to get in contact with Mr. Grace and me. And you will be on the other line as my assistant saying you can't, you know, doing whatever your method is with that. Right, okay, excellent. I, I'm, I'm very much ready. I, uh, Hell is actually really good with HR. Oh. Um, <clears throat> okay, so just do I just to, to pretend to have the phone? Sure. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, the office of Mr. Grayson. Speak quickly. Um, hi. I need to speak with Mr. Grayson about uh, an account. Are you casting a spell? What? I'm so <laughs> Am I casting a spell? Is this a hex? Are you about to remand me to the plane in between? I know this voice. Who is it? Is it you, Jesus? Um, Jesus, I knew it was you. You're trying to come for my employer, aren't you? Uh, no, this is uh, uh, Stephen Mc. Mc uh, oh, who is who is this? I'm, I guess oh, I'll be oh, my name. I'm, you. I'm so sorry. I I work for Mr. Grayson. I'm the personification of death. Uh, I thought you sounded, you have, Stephen, you have a voice just like Jesus. Um, well, thank you. Mr. Grayson is on his lunch break. There's a new chicken salad shop down the street. Uh, he is indisposed, and um, I'm very busy remanding these souls to hell right now. Uh, could you please call back later? Uh, sure, that's fine. So? Okay. It got better once you uh, stopped trying to find out that he, if he was Jesus or not. Uh, once you kind of figured out that he was, and you kind of, you know, relaxed, sat back. You also said you're busy um, taking souls. Are you going to be working while you're doing the assistant job? Are you planning to still do the work of death? <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, listen. Okay, so as you're perceiving me now, I am an infinity of souls, so I can do multitasking very easily. Right now, uh, one of my souls is currently a, uh, trying to kill Anthony Scaramucci and bring him back to hell <laughs> because his time is overdue. He should have been dead two weeks ago, but apparently Stephen Miller didn't get as angry in that meeting as he was supposed to. Destiny will say something about probably Ghost Rider later. But what I'm saying is I can do the job. I have several parts of a collective conscious that can also tend to all the responsibilities of your job while also tending to my freelance work with hell. So no need for alarm. Okay. Okay, great. Um, and uh, one of our interviewers, we have this whole board of interviewers that are also trying to gauge your, uh, you know, work experience, all that. Someone suggested, uh, can we try that call again, but the person that is calling is Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do the same exact scenario again, but now Jesus is trying to get a hold of me, Mr. Grayson, and you are on the other line. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm out of Latin, but I'm not out of time. Jesus, you've tried to take everything from me once. You won't take my mortal realm from me again. If you want to go fuck with someone, fuck with Ghost Rider. Mr. Grayson is currently indisposed at the moment, and if you try and call this number again, I swear, I will bring you down myself, and the second coming will also be a second going. <laughs> Goodbye, Jesus. Would you like to leave a message? Um, no, I'm okay. Okay. Well, uh, call back if you need anything. Um, and if you want to book a meeting, there's a great uh, uh, restaurant in the lobby. It's a cafe. It's Parisian-themed. Thanks. Okay. So you have some grudges against certain people. Um, well, I we just go. We go. We go back. We go back. Yeah. You didn't even let him get a word in until the end. You didn't even know 
was there like a caller ID that you saw? On this one that was Jesus on Mac. I mean, I told you ahead of time that it was Jesus, but do you, can you sense when Jesus is like calling, kind of like? Oh, I yes, I definitely can. I know when he's nearby. I know when he's around. Uh, it's a, just a sort of a thing I know. Okay. Intuitive. Okay. Um, do you would you be uncomfortable, let's say, if some of my friends were to come hang around at some point? You know. Uh, winged creatures, chimera. Thank you, Racer thank Shanti. you. You will never escape. Thank you, uh, Mira Lake. Um, no, you shouldn't have any of your friends come hang out. Um, that that'd probably be scary. Um, not to be offensive, but you know when humans, I guess, aren't used to like seeing winged creatures in real life, mm -hmm. except for birds, which are already pretty scary. So. I like to keep the office, you know, as a nice place where people can come, like, be creative. We're gonna be in the writer's room. Like, how do you feel about that? How do you want to be stimulated creatively in this role? Because I am the head writer, so you'll be a very... You'll be it in the process. Well, I'm certainly... I, I seek... I, you see, I, I, since I am a conscious collection of souls, I haven't yet created a mythology so that I can spread my nether malevolent ideas across the hellscape, well, the ideal hellscape that will become the mortal plane. So I need to be able to write because there is no book yet for death himself. And I'd like to make that book. I have all kinds of ideas. It's a graphic novel, 85 pages, anime themed. It would be beautiful. It would outsell the New Testament five to one, I'll tell you. So that's essentially my long-term goal. That's good. Okay, so you're looking to move up here, maybe become a staff writer on everything now, mm -hmm. and then get enough cred in the industry to where you can you can publish your book. Absolutely, that's that's the okay. long term. Using you know, I'm I'm not going to be using my cosmic powers all the time. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna pull myself up by my bootstraps and uh, you know uh, only remand a few souls to hell. Maybe my competition. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> just kidding around, talking, and you know. Uh, Spitballing, coming at ya. Anyway, any more questions? Um, I guess we can leave some questions for uh, the chat, and who, if you guys have any other uh, questions, please shout them out. Um, but yeah, again, you know, you're gonna be doing things like managing like doctor's appointments, mm. um, a lot of like personal things as well as uh, my things in the workspace. So. What if I could just tell you which doctor's appointments you need to do and which you do not? That's actually a really good point. You'd be a good asset because you'd really keep me healthy because you're ultimately going to take me in the end. Mm -hmm. um, I can, but I can give some hints and you know, if there's a competitive bonus rate, then maybe, you know, you don't step on that banana peel when you're 45. Is that how I'm... No, no, I have to say, no, go? no, 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 just, that was just one oh of a litany of possible deaths. There's oh, the, I mean, no, I there's just had a dumber death. Well, well it's, <coughs> it's possible that you could die that way. It's one of about five billion potential deaths I see for you. Yes, oh, five million and six. Okay, well, um, Super Pizza asks, who is the first person you would fire? Fire. I'll let no one's fire. I suppose I would fire myself because it would be a return home to the flame. Sorry. It's okay. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just homesick. Oh. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's okay. It's alright. I'm trying to be professional. I'm just under a lot you're of stress. You're doing great. Yeah, you're doing great. There's a lot going on. Yeah. Um, I'm sure it's hard when... I've never been to a mortal plane before. I, I, I don't even have my sea legs. Oh, yeah. Do you get, like, seasick when you're in the mortal plane? <laughs> a little bit. I didn't want to give it away. Being death is so hard. I just... Tough. Tough cosmic force of the end. And it's just like, come on. I, I can cry sometimes. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, let's keep it, keep it going. Okay, yes. I don't want to. Wavy lines asks, uh, "What's on the other side?" 
The other side? Well, it depends. If you're hanging out with Jesus, I can't tell you. I never wanted to go to his house anyway. I heard he didn't have good potpourri, and it smelled like crap. But I can tell you about my side, and essentially, it's a giant chain link fence that's sphered, and there's electrical current being channeled through all of it, and constantly there's napalm tsunamis that hit this rotating sphere of chain link fence, and the screams, the screams of the guilty echo across the nether, and you can hear the flesh bubbling, and the desperation crumbling, boiling. Thank you, thank you, you will never escape. It's beautiful if, thank you, Mark, if you are broken, like me. <laughs> Sounds all right. There could be worse things. I suppose. Have you ever been to the DMV? Yeah. Very familiar to where I'm from. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Same architect. What would you like to see more of on the show? Uh, that's a great question. I wish I knew of mortal life so that I could tell you, perhaps. That's why I'm here to learn. I don't know every time I touch something it feels but like ash to my fingertips. Like a cruel cold wind that leaves paper cuts across the skin. I don't know about the warmth of warm milk when you're 10 years old and your mother is trying to get you to sleep. I don't know about that winning feeling from Windstar Casino when you win $75 after having lost 500. These mortal pleasures I do not know, for I am void. So I would like to see first what this world knows, and then, you know, maybe tell a few jokes about it. Do you have any questions for me? Um, is there a break room and what kind of snacks is in it? Yeah, we have a break room. Um, we have those uh, bean chips. Oh. They're like the chips made out of beans. There's like a salsa verde flavor. That sounds delicious. Um, it's really not that good. Oh. Yeah. Well, I probably like um, it even more then. We also have uh, cold brew on tap. Cold uh, brew? And kombucha. It's a cold brew. Uh, it's like coffee, but cold. like, but it's cold. It's brewed cold. It contains more caffeine, I think. Oh. Uh, we also got like okay. every Lacroix flavor that you can think of. Um, we have Halo Top ice cream. Halo. Oh uh, yeah, I guess that's. So it doesn't have to do with heaven or anything. Oh. Okay. I mean, maybe good, maybe. good, 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 good. I got worried, worried, worried for a second there. Those guys, they only play jazz. And it's just, it's just bad up there. It's all sandals and white robes and kumbaya. Boring. Boring. But anyway, uh, do I get the job? Um, we're gonna find out right now, actually. Um, we go. We're just gonna put out a poll here. If you're just joining us, I am currently interviewing the devil to be my writer's assistant, personal assistant, on the show Everything Now. Thank you for joining us. You're going to help us decide who, who stays and who goes to have this interview. Don't worry, we, we can hire multiple assistants too, so don't worry if there's going to be like a, if we decide now, it's going to be over, because I can have four or five assistants. Well. Okay. Okay. Okay, and that poll is now up. Should we hire Death himself? Uh, and then we have someone saying, uh, 
uh, make sure to tell him that this is a hard job. Uh, this is a hard job. Hard job. I would love to toil for once. All this power, no experience of what it means. So I'm very forward thinking. Yeah. Do you have any other like uh, abilities that you know might help in the assistant? Hmm. Um, well, uh, a lot of interesting people have been remanded, and their souls have been taken by the damned. Um, in fact, all they've joined the damned. I took them to the damned. Uh, so I have all kinds of crazy stories about <laughs> the, the people you love who weren't so good. And I'd love to tell them around the office. I don't know if you guys do like after work on Fridays, maybe a happy hour, something like that. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Um, yeah, we'll, well, we can look into that potentially. Oh, only if you want. I don't want to impose. It's not like I just don't know anyone here, you know? I don't know anyone on the mortal plane, and I'm just new in town, and, uh, you know, I want to be able to be a part of this and, you know, maybe throw balls of hellfire or somebody, I don't know. Well, Death, congratulations, you got the job. Oh, thank you, thank you. Don't thank worry, you. You're, it's 58 and by hit by a scooter. Uh, what? <laughs> like, a, like a bird scooter or? That's all I have. Great. Well, we we already hired someone on the first on the first go. Ain't that something? Oh. And Aiden Wood says, I feel like with a little guidance, he would make a great addition to the team. I agree. I think with a little grooming, he he has potential. I think. Chief um, Breaker says, uh, I gotta go, but this is insane. I'm gonna check you out again. Yeah, check us out. Uh, every Sunday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, Cairo something says, what could possibly go wrong with hiring literally death? He's basically making the company millions already. True that. True that. Um, okay, great. Well, again, if you guys, if you guys want to donate, if we hit $5, uh, I will fire somebody over the phone, and you'll get to see that experience um, happen in person. Last time, if you guys were here with me, I, for donation goal, we, we made it party time where I made a cocktail. And, um, you know, after that, so I kind of came to terms with my uh, alcoholism, and uh, I've been uh, 12 days sober. So thank you. Thank you. It's been it's been great. Um, every time I every time I crave uh, the a drink or a drop of alcohol, uh, I take a bite out of a sweet onion. Um, and my doctor says that just helps repel um, any sort of Attraction that I have to that desire. So it's good. Um, my dentist says that I have to stop doing that because my enamel is slowly breaking down. But it's kind of like a battle of like, you know, doctor, dentist, who am I going to choose? Um, oh, and uh, doctor, teacher, do we, do we have our next person? Send, just send him, send him. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Uh, pleasure to meet you. I'm Mr. Grayson. I am Amelia. Amelia? Yes. That's a, that's a nice name. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think it suits me very well. Um, yes. Great. Well, welcome. Uh, so nice to have you here. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah. Just in general. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's nice to have you. We're um, I'm looking for a, an assistant. Oh, great. Um, Yes, and I just want to start off by welcoming you to everything now. This, this is the show that makes people's dreams come true. Oh, amazing. Uh, yeah, and uh, I guess we'll just get right into it. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I 
like uh, I like to identify as a, a strong woman. Um, I, I'm very into aviation, um, but I, that's just one of my past interests. What I'm really it's like when you grow plants, right? No. <laughs> Uh, almost. It, it's it's uh, flying planes. Oh, <laughs> yes, know? yes. Um, but I'm looking really to uh, integrate into modern life, which is why I'm interviewing for this job. Okay, okay. Aviation is kind of not maybe the, the most up-to-date workspace or like oh, kind well. of line of... Well, it, uh, it made me tenacious. Uh, I have a can-do attitude, and I can uh, I can stay on course, and I can uh, fix anything you throw at me, and you know I, I like to think of myself as adaptable. Okay. Um, I, 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 I personal anecdote: I spent some time trapped on an island for quite some time. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, but I survived, which is truly a testament. Like Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks. Uh, on the uh, on the on the one where he gets with the with the football. It's true. Totally. Uh, I know. I, I know. love that movie. Um, uh, but you, we were a talking. A talking. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, they talk in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know what you're. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. I, I, I do enjoy that moving picture as well. Awesome. That's great. So you, so you worked in aviation. Oh yeah. Um, what, what, what's a, uh, difficult, uh, Thank you, thank you, you will never you, escape. Oh, thank you. And what's, like, a, an example of, a, of a difficult time you went through, uh, a time of adversity that you had to kind of overcome, and that has made you, like, a better employee, made you a better person overall? Yeah, um, well, uh, a time, let's see, a time of difficulty. There I was, crossing the transatlantic ocean, by myself, solo flight, across the Atlantic Ocean. I was the first woman to do a solo Atlantic flight, and suddenly something went wrong. Something went very, very wrong. Beeping, red lights, flashing, fuel, empty, everything around me spiraling and spiraling, losing altitude. and. Suddenly behind me, I think, oh God, I'm not going to make it. I had to brace, pull up, so that I could land with the least amount of impact possible. What's that over there? A tropical island, perhaps? With just enough runway out of jungle that would safely take my vessel and my life into its hands. Um, I killed a man. Just once, to survive. I needed to. I needed to show everyone that women can do anything, anything they put their minds to. And then um, a few years went by, and I saw uh, what I learned is called a princess cruise line. And they picked me up, and they dropped me in the beautiful Big Apple. And I've been very confused ever since. But I'm looking to integrate. That's amazing. Thank you. That's one of the best answers for that question that I've ever received. So uh, I don't think anybody has gone through that level of uh, tram yeah. that I've interviewed so far. And it, you know, it doesn't like really affect me anymore. But I, I, I look at it fondly at this point in my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Great. Remind me of someone. I get that a lot. I just have one of those faces. Someone that I learned about in school. Amelia. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't think of it. Me neither. Um, <laughs> I only retained certain parts of my memory. Oh, really? Oh. So, with this job, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of answering phones. Okay. Yes. Phones. Yeah. You know I do that. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't you? I, I wouldn't. Why? <laughs> why wouldn't I know how to do that? Um, yeah, you, so you know. I know. Um, yeah, so you'll I be, can do that. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be answering the phone for me. Mm -hmm. You'll be, uh, you know, 
being on your laptop a lot, you know, using a computer. Laptop. Yes, of course. Of course. A com a, a, a lap a laptop? A laptop, yeah. Laptop. Well, yes. Well, you will probably be on a desktop. Um, of course. Like, do you uh, have a personal laptop that you could use? You'll have your, do, you'll have your own desk. Do or... I ever? Okay. Is that alright if I bring mine to, to work? Or uh, will sure, you provide me one? Um, I can look into that. Great. Yeah. I, can look into that. I just think it'd be better to start fresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and another, another big thing about being my assistant mm -hmm. is... Uh, now that I'm the head writer, I have like an emerging social media presence. Of course. So you know, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, um, you know, all the all the major platforms. Mm -hmm. How we do a scenario where um, you write a caption for like a picture? Yes. Like the newspapers Instagram. have. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's say I just got back from my vacation. I'm back at work. Um, and I post a picture of me um, on the beach yes. with a corona in hand, a corona. doing a little, doing a little hang loose, and being like, "Played hard, now time to work hard." Okay. And you have to—that's like a—that's like a speech bubble that's yes. coming out yes. of my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, and now, how would you cap? How, what would you put at the the, the caption of the photo? So your clarifying question. You're enjoying a Corona. Yes. Which is. Um, I'm sorry. I, I just, don't drink. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't either. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm 12 days sober. Oh, congratulations. So maybe I wouldn't have a Corona. I would have uh, maybe a sparkling seltzer. Yes. Um, and, and you're enjoying this beverage. On the beach. And the caption, of course, would be. I am so happy the Great Depression's over. Cause aren't you? Yeah, I mean I wasn't alive. But aren't you great. happy it's over now so that we can all thrive in this beautiful building? Yeah. Um, yeah. And this goes where? Uh, this goes on this Instagram. On insta instant gra gramophone? Instant gramophone? No, Insta... Wait, maybe it might stand for Instagramophone. I assume it's a it's a shortening of something. It's a shortening of Chad, something. Chad, do you guys know what Instagram is short for? Is it'll it be... Instant Gramophone? Oh, I know. No, so you'll it'll be printed and you give it to a small boy who runs around the neighborhood to inform everyone of the news? Kind of, but if that small boy was like a... Um, a non-sentient network of like theoretical tubes that mm -hmm. sent information to people as opposed to uh, a kid riding his bike down the street. So it's like... Got it. Yeah. It's simple. Yeah. Um, and oh, uh, Doom Guy Pierce says it's, it stands for Instant Graham Crackers. Oh, I do enjoy a treat. <laughs> so thank you, Doom Guy Pierce. Thank you. Um, C Green 727 says, can I be the small boy? Sure. I would love you to be the small boy. You're the small boy now. Um, and great. So, wow, um, Great Depression, Paper Boys. I, I'm an old soul. <laughs> I just like things how they were. One second, please. No problem. How is it not plugged in? Huh? Oh, nothing. Wait. You're Amelia Gray Ham Hamlin. You caught me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's you. How, how did I not recognize that before? I just, I, I have an ambiguous face. Yeah, from the, from the works of uh, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh. Harry loves Lisa. He does. Rachel and the Tree Schoolers. Those darn tree You're a celebrity. They're squirrely. I I uh, I was trying to be in, in incognito so that uh, my fame and mysterious disappearance wouldn't be questioned by anyone. <laughs> oh, this is this is amazing. Um, okay, 
Okay, well, let's get some let's get some questions from uh, our, our interviewer board uh. on uh, for Amelia here, Amelia Hamlin in the flesh. Um, and then Wavy Lines has a question. Amelia, were you sent by the U.S. government to spy on the Japanese before Pearl Harbor? No. Interesting question. No, I was sent by the U.S. government to spy on the Russians for the Cold War. Oh. Very pre-Cold War. It oh. was a very covert mission. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the Japanese in Pearl Harbor. No! Um, and then Ky Cairo, Cairo says, are you a vampire? I'll ask the hardening question right away. Vampire? No. Um, unfortunately not. I'm more of a silky, uh, which is the seal-like creatures that come to shore and then they leave their skin on the shore so that they can dance about as a woman for a few days. And if someone steals their skin, they stay a woman, but they stay very sad. Because they want to be in the sea, of course. Mm. So not a vampire, but a silky. Okay. Does that clear things up? Does it? <laughs> um, great, let's get some more questions. Uh, if you were portrayed in a movie, who would you want playing you? Easy, Dennis Rodman. Oh, there's a follow-up question saying, do you know who Hilary Swank is? Is that a club? Is she that'd a part nice, of That would be a nice club name, Hilary Swank. Nobody's getting in. We could have a business venture. Outside of this. Ooh, Ooh, already starting up business. I like I that. I hear prohibition is over, so. Yeah, it's been. Yeah, it's been over for a while. I just like to remind you of the good things this country's done. Yeah, great. Okay, I love that. I love that. Um, Rackway says, oh, "Wait, Amelia, are you a vet?" Mr. Grayson asks if Amelia is a vet. This mm -hmm. could be very good for us. No, I'm scared of dogs. That's a no. No. Sorry. Well, uh, great. Well, how, how about any questions for me? I mean, you're going to be my sister. You're going to be around me all the time. Do you have any questions that you'd like to ask before we make a decision? I do have a question about money. It's, I, it's just one of those things you have to get out of the way. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, I would love to make a fair $23 a week. I know I'm asking a lot, but I'm a very hard worker. And that's a lot of money, I know. But I think I'm worth it. 20, $23 a week. A week, please. That gives me just enough for my groceries. It gives me enough to send back home to Mama. Uh, Let's me enjoy myself. And you're fine working like eight hours a day? Eight? <laughs> That's a breeze. <laughs> um, so, so you would want to get paid forty-one cents an hour, if that's all right. I'll have to talk to upper management okay. to make sure, of course I but I, I think understand. that's doable. Wow. <laughs> I think that's. Really cool. That's amazing. That's I've never Is that been, illegal? I've never been paid that much money in my life. <laughs> what? Even to fly planes? No. Seems. I made about 16 a week to fly planes. What if I told you that I would pay you $15 an hour? 15 Yeah. But I just said 16 to fly planes. No, $15 an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. An hour. What? So instead, of, instead of 41 cents an hour, it's Are you 15. a sultan? I, I am not a sultan anymore. Where do you come by <laughs> such riches? Um, you know, we try to, we try to pay our pay as well here. Dog! Uh, yeah, um. Uh, I have to tell someone. I, I have to tell someone. Well, well, great. Before you tell anybody, uh, well, let's let's uh, let's just get a pull up. Fifteen dollars. So 
Let's so fucking smack the moves. So we gotta pull up. Um, please, they please some let us know if you want to hire Celia. Um, and then Super Pizza says, "Can I ask how much your jumpsuit costs?" Oh, um, yes, I purchased it for a very costly two dollars and forty-three cents, but it's lasted me a lifetime. Wow. So I think that money was worth it. They don't make them like they used to. They don't! All my jumpsuits are deteriorating off my body at all times. <gasps> the quality of things. It's going downhill. Uh, let's see if we have any other questions. Um, Brad Quinn says, Amelia, how would you engage with the show's growing audience? Growing audience. How would I engage with them? Well, I would like to educate about the past so that they can take knowledge of the past with them into the future. Okay. So that you're not doomed to repeat mistakes. Have enough fuel. That's, that's, that's good. That's... Sorry. <laughs> Close out this poll. And Amelia, congratulations. You oh, got the job. Hot garbage! You got it. Thank you. Oh, I, I can't. When do I start? Um, you can start on Monday. Great. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. I won't let you or any of your vehicles down. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm gonna go find some family. Okay. Bye. Um, okay. So, this is going great. We've already hired two assistants. One is Death himself and one is Amelia Hamlin. <laughs> that is insane. What a star-studded cast of, of assistants. That's so great. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, how, how are you guys feeling? You guys feeling good about our, our, our hire so far? Um, so we got some hot garbage in the chat. Um, Kara says, my gut feeling says she's a vampire. I'm only hiring because I want to see you guys die. Sorry. It might happen. I'm kind of out of the question. Um, yeah, I guess we can just keep this... Ball rolling. Just a reminder, up top, if we get five dollars, we will fire someone. Come in. Hi, is this the um, interview job? Uh, <laughs> this is not a job. Just yeah, come in. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, it was a little confusing a, question. I got a copy of my resume. Oh, I it. I, thanks. Yeah, I made a lot of copies. I'm so. Mr. Grayson. Hi. Oh, here. Mr. Grayson. Nice to meet you. You can just call me Charlie. Charlie? Yeah, Charlie Fung. Uh, Charlie Fung? Yeah. Oh, wow. My son's name is Charleston. Really? Yeah, so. What a crazy coincidence. That's crazy. Um, well, Mr. Funk, thanks for, uh, thanks for coming. Of course. Do um, you mind if I take off my hat? Uh, sure. Thank you. It's getting kind of warm in here. Yeah, yeah, I know it's, it's very warm. The sun hits the, the windows and it just kind of heats up heats like, up. A, like yeah. a greenhouse. Yeah. Um, well, great, you're the first one to actually bring a resume with you, so thank you for doing that. Of course. Um, it's, a, it's an interview. Yeah, so. uh, double-sided though. I want to just keep this to one page next time. Oh, thanks for the tip. Yeah. Um, Although if I get the job, I won't have to keep it to one page. That's true. You can... You'll be hired, so I guess it's Oh, and look at that! Uh, thank you, Super Pizza. We, um, I'm just gonna put this on pause real quick. Sure. Um, this would be actually a great experience for you. Since you're gonna be my assistant, I'm going to have to fire people in front of you. Oh. Um, so I am gonna actually do that right now. Fantastic. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get to it. Um, okay, everyone. Uh, so right now, I'm going to call up one of our writers, and fire them. Um, just remember this is a very sensitive situation. Be respectful, 
I know that this person is going to lose their job. They might get upset, but this is what we gotta do. Um, so, let's see. Who has been performing the best? I think we're gonna have to call Buck. Buck's gonna go? Yeah. Uh, Buck's one of our writers and, and, and lately he's just been kind of running dry uh, out of ideas. We really liked his, you know, kind of homegrown spirit before, but it's really just not working with the with what we're going with the show now. Ouch. Um, oh yeah, let's see if anybody has some like firing uh, techniques in here. Super Pizza says, act like you're going to give them a raise and then pull the plug. Ooh, that's rough. Um, you could fire them via voicemail. That might happen if they, uh, if they don't pick up. Uh, Wavy Lines says, I hope we, we see some real tears from Buck. We probably would just hear them because I'm calling them. Uh, Doom Guy Pierce says, try to make it as funny as possible. Well, well Doom Guy, we don't want to make this a funny thing. Uh, we want to be polite. Anyway, I'm going to call Buck. Um, Hello? Hi. Hey, Buck. It's, it's Mr. Grayson. Oh, yeah, I got caller ID. I know who it is. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, How's boss? Doing? How you doing? I'm doing great. That's good. I'm just having the most perfect day at my perfect job. Oh. And my perfect boss is calling me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Nothing you could say could ruin my day. My wife that's... just gave birth to our third child. Oh. Oh. A healthy eight ounce. No, ah, eight pound, two ounce. Eight ounce. Beautiful okay. baby girl that I made her middle name Grayson after my really? favorite boss. Oh, well, you didn't she have to smiled. Do that. You didn't. She came out of the womb smiling, just like you smile at me every day. Yeah, fuck. I smile at you every day. Oh, this is so So tough. what's up? Um, I just had to call because, you know, uh, budget's getting tighter. Tight, around. tight, tight, just like the belt. You saw, just like my belts too. You saw that I lost 200 pounds over the past year, and it was all thanks to your encouragement. You are, and you are looking so good now. You're looking so healthy and so fit. Um, but, you know, the company is starting to move in a different direction. Whoa! That's crazy! So God just walked past me and gave me $20. I'm gonna <laughs> give it to you when I get to work, because you're my favorite boss! Oh, that's fantastic. You might want to just hold on to that $20. You're right, um, put it in my beautiful kids' college fund. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, put put as much money as you can in that, in that college fund. Um, but no, the, we, we're gonna ha we're, we're cutting the budget in some areas. Oh, no! Yeah. Does that mean, does that mean Jen's gonna get cut? Why would, why, why do you think Jen would get cut? Well, I don't know, like, just some talk around the office, saying she maybe doesn't pull her weight, kind of like some of us do, but that's beside the point. What'd you call me about? So you think Jen would, if you were to pick anyone to fire, you'd pick Jen? Oh my god! I, 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 I mean, she, she just needs some, some prodding. I mean, she's not a bad gal. She, she does what she can. Her dad's real sick right now, so I understand that she's kind of... Uh, maybe distracted. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. It's. I'm sorry. Like really but, sick. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Buck, but, but I'm gonna have to let you go. W w what? What? Uh, what? Uh, I'm sorry. You're. Mr. 
great. You're so talented, and you have like you have you have so much going on. You're you're gonna get a new job, and it's gonna be great. But we just. What I what's the meaning of this besides the budget cards? I ha I had to I had to let some people go, and, and, and you just you you've seemed a little distracted in the office. You know you've got a lot going on, and. Fuck. Fuck. What? Come on, man. Dad. You're gonna be fine, all right? I don't know if I'm gonna be fine. I thought you were so much more than just a boss to me. You were my friend. We can still hang out. I'm not anymore! Oh. This is betrayal on a level that I cannot I ever forgive. It's just business, Buck. It's not personal. It feels pretty personal. No, I'm not. I, I have to make hard decisions now that I'm the head writer. You know You this. know what, Mr. Grayson? You live with this. You live with this guilt of firing a hardworking father who just wants to do right by his kids. You have two kids, you should understand. sound like it was going okay. It's always hard. I can imagine that. Um, can I just say, you're very brave and a great man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Of course. Um, well, okay. great. Well, let's, 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 let's forget about that. Let's get into your, what you got going on. What? Ooh, tell okay. me about your, uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your, your background. Well, my name's Charlie Funk. We already got that out of the way. Yes. I am 46 years old. Okay. And this will be my first non-retail job. Wow. Yes. So I'm very excited for that, if I get it. Yeah. But you can understand I'm a little bit shaky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Worked in retail. Yes. <laughs> I heard your box wife also works there. <laughs> One second. Um, we'll get back to you working in retail in a second. I understand. Yeah. Um, thank you for the donation. Wavy lines. Um. Wavy lines didn't mention that Buck's wife works here. And... I think according to my list, yeah, she would be the next one to be fired. Okay, well, we're gonna call Buck's wife, Burnett, and uh, we're gonna fire her. Good luck, sir. Thanks, Charlie. No problem. Hello? Hi, Burnett. Hi! This is uh, Mr. Grayson. Oh, hey, Mr. Grayson. Hi. How are you doing? I'm great. If it isn't my favorite boss and my favorite job when my favorite husband works. So you you haven't talked to your husband? Oh, my God, no. We tried... To well, um, to respect for you, we keep work life and family life separate. So we only talk to each other if we pass each other. What well, when we're walking home together, arm in arm, skipping like we do in this fine neighborhood. Aren't we so lucky to live and work here? Yeah, it's so great. And you just gave birth today, didn't you? I did, and I came right back to work because I just love working here so much. Wow. Yeah, you're, you're such a dedicated person. It's the third one. It just walked out. Wow. 
Oh, but my beautiful children, I, I, I just wanted to tell you, we made our youngest's middle name Grayson after you because you were so nice to hire me and my husband to work for you. That's amazing. We have a beautiful picture of you in our living room that goes right next to our kids' baby pictures. And so we can always think of you as being a part of our family. You have a picture of me? It has the most expensive frame of any picture in our house. More expensive Gosh. than our wedding portrait. Uh, um, What'd you call about, Mr. Grayson? Burnett, if you... If you were hypothetically in a position to fire anyone at the company... Yeah. Who would you fire first? Who would I fire first? Yeah. Well, that's why they pay you the big bucks, Mr. Grayson. You make those decisions. Yeah, but is there anyone that you think has just been, like, performing? Like, not that well, or... Honestly, this company has the highest happiness rating of any corporation in America. Higher than Google or any of those places where they let you sleep on the job. Everyone loves working here, and everyone really shows that by what they do. And I mean, Jenny's a little... She, Jen's a little, uh slow on the roll right now, but I don't know if you heard, her dad is really, really sick. Yeah, I heard that Jen's dad's really sick. Really sick. Yeah. But, I think everyone here is great. Mr. Mr. Grayson? Yes, yeah, I'm still here, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, what'd you call about? Um, let me Oh my up. goodness, let did me. I mention, I forgot to mention. We opened up a bond for our children in your name. What? That way they can have enough money to go to college. And we named it after you because you're so kind to employ our family. And it would be my greatest honor if my oldest son, when he turns 18, could work for you. Because you've done so much for us, yeah, Mr. Grayson. Yeah, that, that might be a possibility. Um, and, and does Jen have anything else going on in her life right well, now? Besides uh, her, her dad being sick? Well, her dad's really sick, um, and their mom, she is so sweet, she sold their house to try and afford his medical bills, and they also started a GoFundMe for that, too. But they are living in a little shack right underneath the freeway in order to afford all those payments, but they just love each other so much that they're making it work. Her dog also died. Okay. You sound flummoxed, Mr. Grayson. I'm having a hard time. Um, but Br Burnett. Yeah? I'm sorry, but I have to let you go. What? 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 What, Mr. Grayson? I... What? It's not. What? What? What's going on, Mr. Grayson? I thought you were very impressed with my work. I am. I, really I, I am. just don't understand. What, 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 what am I going to tell my husband? He's your best friend. Your husband is getting let go, too. What? 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 Our beautiful eight pound two ounce baby girl, Mary Grayson. I know, I'm sorry. It's a Grayson. I don't make, I don't, I don't. What am I gonna do? I don't make the decisions. You I just took have to a carry chance. Out. You, you took a chance on me and my husband, and and we all, all we ever did was try to impress you and, and live up to you. You guys are gonna do. Fine. I don't maybe, maybe you can make like one of those those baby vlog YouTube channels oh my where you, oh my where you guys God. like vlog you and your babies. What, Mr. Grayson? Are you really insulting me by saying I should I'm become a mommy vlogger? I'm not trying to insult you. I'm, try I'm just trying to put up other options. I don't have the manic cheer that those women have, Mr. Grayson. You have done a huge disservice. To me and my husband Buck today. Consider your picture taken out of the frame. I'm sorry.
Hire them back, then fire them again when I donate next. <laughs> what? Yikes, Mr. Grayson. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Where'd you work in retail? The Adidas store. Wow, how was that? It was actually really fun. I enjoy the people there. I'm kind of a shoe freak, so it worked for me. <laughs> You're a shoe freak? Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna call them back. I'll put them on a group call. Okay. What do you want now? Yeah, what do you want now? Hey right, guys, calm down. I am not, I am not staying calm. And neither am I. We, we made a mistake and we're, you actually are both keeping your jobs. What, 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 what do you, what do you mean? What, what, what? You guys are hired again. You guys are you guys are coming back. Mr. Grayson! Oh! You you really mean it this time? I mean it. You're silent! Do you mean it? I mean it. You, oh, our family, coming back. our family is saved! I, I, Kyle, I will never let you down. Thank you for giving us this opportunity back for me and my lovely, beautiful wife. Oh, honey, to work back at your company. You fix your off the mantle and saved, Mr. Grayson. Thanks. I, I just, I don't know what we can ever do to thank you. We, we really didn't know what we were going to do because we have three beautiful, beautiful children now that are just have to go to college so that they can make a better lives than we had. Yeah, not that this one's not a good one. Hi, uh, Charlie Funk here. Uh, it's on speaker, speaker phone right now. I just wanted to congratulate you. Who is this? Charlie Char <laughs> Funk. <laughs> here for a job interview. This is I'm sorry. Punk. He's interviewing to be my assistant. I'm sorry. So you're, you're interviewing people to take our place? And no, then you fire no, us? No, was he no, on the, Was he there when you fired us? Yes, but yes. no, that's not... I wasn't a part of the decision. Yeah. What? 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 what, 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 what are you doing? Is this a hoax? Is this no, a hoax? No, you're, you're being hired. Oh. You're being hired again. Oh. I'll see you at work. Okay. Bye, Mr. Grayson. Thank Bye. you, Mr. Grayson. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not get, I did not mean to get involved there. I just had to say something. It's okay. I liked your initiative. Okay. That's good. Oh, boy. I'm so sorry. This oh, is a very no. unusual for an interview. It is, but, but I hope I get the job. You so. work with, you work in retail. You've dealt with a lot of people, so you're probably good with, you know, yeah. dealing with people that are going to. I was in guest services for a while, and oh boy, you don't want you don't want that job. That's a lot of complaints, a lot of complaints in that job. Yeah. Um, well, I hopefully won't be as much of a complainer. I'm um, generally a well-mannered person, you know, unless I have to hire people. Yes, understandable. Um, but yeah. Uh, do do we have questions from the the chat for for Mr. Funk? If you're if you're just joining in, I'm interviewing Charlie Funk here for a job as my personal assistant. Um, but it's been interrupted by the fact that I've had to fire some employees and then rehire them, and hopefully I won't have to fire them again. But who knows? Can I just get one thing out of the way? Yes. I'm sorry, it's just, I know you're looking at the hands, I know. I'm trying not to look at them. I'm so sorry, but my, um, my father was a Sasquatch, and that, and that's why I look this way. And if that's gonna be a problem, I could, I could leave right now, but buddy, this is who I am, okay? 
I think that's fine. Okay, good. That's glad. That's I honestly, good. I honestly just thought that you lived in Echo Park. I didn't think you had oh. anything other, uh, any creatures, sense of things that. You look fine. Thanks. Your hands are a little distracting, but it's, it's okay. Can't do anything about these shoppers. Um, Sea Green uh, says, "What's what's his mom?" Your dad was a Sasquatch, what, was your mom a human? She was a, yeah, she was a human. She was a camper. She was camping in Oregon. Met my dad, they hit it right off. Wow. 46 years later, here I am. Wow, 46 years? Yeah, quite young for a half man, half Sasquatch. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice coming from a, a good family, solid family uh, system. Thank you. Um, and then uh, uh, Ronky is asking, uh, do you have a podcast? Your voice is beautiful. It's funny you say that. I'm just thinking about it. I'm oh. just thinking about doing a podcast. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have like a concept of what it would be, or do you <laughs> well, still in the early development stages? Growing up in the woods, uh -huh. one of my hobbies was collecting pine cones. Mm. So I figure there's no podcast about pine cones out there. Maybe I should be the first. Yeah. Now, of course, if I got this job, it wouldn't get in the way of that, sir. You should know. Okay. Yeah, but it's going to be a side thing. I'll do it at night, in my own time, unless I have to work at night, in which case I won't do the podcast. You shouldn't have to. Okay. Um, great. Well, this is awesome. Maybe, maybe let's play out a, a workplace scenario. Okay. Um... So, you work in retail? Yes. Um, let's say that I'm, I'm in a very bad mood. And I'm, and I'm coming in and I don't want to be bothered at all. Okay. Um, but there's someone here to see me. There's someone here that's like, has a meeting or something, and I tell you to cancel it. Okay. You have to cancel this very important meeting with this person. See, and are they already in the building? Yes. They're at your desk. Okay. At my desk. At your desk. So I can, I will come up and be that person, and then you'll be sitting at the desk, and then we'll, you'll have to work out, find a way to where you can cancel this meeting and, and get them to leave. Great. And is this a schedule that you'd like to reschedule? Sure, but make it ambiguous. Don't like, don't like put a hard time on it. For sure. Got you. So I'm gonna come in. Alright. Position here. Hi. Oh, hi. Yes. Hi. hi, how are you? Good. It's good to see you. Yes, I am James Franco. Hi, Mr. Franco. Um, I'm here to see Mr. Grayson. For our meeting. Now about that. <laughs> Mr. Grayson's a little bit in a funk right now. And he's not gonna be able to to meet you, and it's unsure if he's going to have to reschedule, and that's where we stand right now. This meeting was scheduled two months ago. I understand that, Mr. Franco, and if you start pointing at my table, at my desk, I'm going to have to call security, okay? I am a busy guy, okay? What do you think I'm doing? You think I'm just playing around? You're an assistant. Day? You're a lowly, lowly, lowly assistant. Oh, I am yeah, James okay. Franco. Yeah. I'm a movie star. Well, this lowly assistant is calling security on you right now, buddy. Oh, yeah? What if I cut your phone line? Shh. What I'll are you going to do now, hot I'll shot? Leave. I'll leave and get security and tell them to come here. You better stay Then here. I'll break through the door. Well, you can't do that. Not in my office, okay? And if you break my door... Oh, by God, there's going to be hell to pay. Can I smoke in here? Sure, why not? You got one for me? Sure. <laughs> uh, camels. Thank you. You're not so bad. <laughs> you neither. Hey, let's make a deal. You wait here. I'll go get Mr. Grayson, and he'll talk to you, even though he said 
Cancel it. Okay. Cool. That sound that's, good? That sounds good. Great. Yeah, I kind of run things around here. <laughs> You're Mr. Grayson. Hey, Mr. Grayson, how's it going? I'm n no, I'm, I'm still Mr. Grayson's assistant. <laughs> oh, you're not switching to Mr. Grayson yet? No, no, not okay, yet. Yeah, I okay. will, though. Okay. But I'm just telling you, I do. You run things. I run things yeah. around here. He's I, more like your assistant. I tell him what to do, pretty That's much. Wow. Yeah. At least for the smoke. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right, I'm going to go get him. I'll be right back. Okay. How are you, Mr. Franco? Hey, Mr. Grayson. My assistant told me you would like to meet with me. Yeah, he said you were uh, going to cancel our meeting. And he told me no, and he kind of runs things around here. So you better get that straight, Mr. Franco. I am aware of that now. Well, good. What did you want to talk about? And scene. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I don't know, I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry. You see what you see what you did wrong there? Yeah, I get it, I know. I, I get it. I said I run things here. I had a cigarette in the office. Obviously it's non-smoking building. There's no smoking allowed anywhere. Yeah, I even know. within twenty I, I feet saw, of the front door. I saw the sign, I just uh, it's just nerves took over, you know. Mm -hmm. Uber's got the best of me or something. Yeah. It's just you can't, and you also said that you run things? Yeah, that was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. I was just... When I learned it was Mr. Franco, I wanted to get on his good side. And I thought, maybe if I got on his good side and he thought I was, like, running things, that maybe we would be friends, Franco and I. Mm, yeah, it's, it's not about making friends. Oh, no? Uh, oh, you know, that's... it's like you can make friends, you know, you could be cordial <coughs> people, but you're my assistant. You gotta, you know, carry out the things. Do. Oh, I'm and sorry. It's okay. And is that how you perceive me to be? It's kind yeah. of. It's kind of like. Just. Doormat for for you to stomp on, and just be like, well, oh, he, he runs things. Now right? that you say doormat, no, that's not what I thought. I just thought you were kind of a stiff guy, bossy. You know, that's how it was. That's how it was. Playing. Look, I can go, or you can give me another no, chance. Fine. Okay. Fine. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Uh, Rat Queen has a question saying, "Does Mr. Funk want to work in the movies?" It's funny you say that. Uh, <laughs> I was just starting to think about how I could maybe be an actor, a famous one, and yeah, I would like to, <laughs> you know, do impressions and. Oh, you do impressions? Yeah, you saw one just just now. Oh, you. me, yeah. Do you have any other impressions? Oh, jeez. Uh, Dom DeLuise. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's hear your Dom. Sorry. It's just when I think of Dom, <laughs> it just I, it makes me crack up. Yeah. All right, here it goes. Dom DeLuise, okay? You're on candid camera. You're on candid camera. Smile. You're on candid camera. Wow. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You got something. I, I don't say that to everyone, but I think, like, after seeing that, I think you got something. That means the world to me coming from you, Mr. Grayson. I was... I was kind of put off by the, the situation that we played out, but after that, it, it kind of just erased it from my memory. You're, you got, you got, you got spunk, kid. You got funk. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna decide what happens to you. Okay. And if. Got a problem with me being the son of a Sasquatch? I'll tell you right now. I'm walking, okay? Oh yeah, no, we're an equal employee. All right. employer. Thank God. Thank God. Oh. And is your dad's last name Funk? It's a name I chose. He didn't have a name at all. You chose Charlie Funk as your yeah, name. Yeah, I thought it'd be cool. It's pretty cool. Thanks. 
What do you think of Charlie? Well, it's, my son's name is Charleston, so I think it's a, I think it's a good name. It's great. Hey, maybe your son and I could be best pals someday. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. No, I'm that's sorry. Okay. That, jeez. Oh, All right, I'm gonna stop talking. No, you're, you're fine. Uh, is there, are there any questions you have for me? Yeah, what, what is the pay? Um, and also, can you pay in pine cones? Um, I have talked to our accounting department about pine cone thing. Okay. But the, the, the rate would be $15 an hour. $15? I can get, yeah, I can get uh, 45, 45 pine cones for it. 45 pine cones for, wait, for $15? Or? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. 45. Just doing the rough math in my head right now. You know, I'll do this. I'll do this later. I'll do the math later. But that sounds great. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we can talk to our county to see if you can get paid in pine cones. Great. Um, wavy line says pine cones are over one dollar each. Or are, wait, are over one dollar each? Wow. Hmm. Oh, who said that? Wavy line. Wavy lines, I don't know where you get your pine cones, but I go directly to the forest for mine. And you have to pay a man. Yeah, oh, I have to a pay man. A man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man there, and he sells pine cones, and it's it's fine, it's what he does. I don't judge. No, yeah, that's to each their own. Thank you. Charlie, I'm so sorry, but it doesn't look like we'll be back today. Oh my god, you just got my hopes up and everything. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I, 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 we have a whole board of interviewers, it's not just my decision, it's, you know, it's a full, it's a group decision, but best okay. of luck. Well, I... Keep up the acting thing, though, it's it's good. Yeah? It's, yeah. Go for that, maybe, instead of assistant jobs? Yeah, I think, I think you should. Follow your passion. All right, yeah. And I'll let you know about that podcast, too. Yeah, let me know. If you want to give it a listen. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. You want to be a guest? I don't have a lot of pine cone knowledge, but sure. You don't have to. I, I have all the knowledge for both of us. Okay. I got your hat. Yeah. I gotta go. I gotta catch that bus. Thank you so much, sir. Thanks. You have a pleasant evening. You too. And good luck on the hiring process. Thanks. Thanks, Charlie. If you ever, uh... Need of, uh, in need of Adidas shoes, you know who to come to. Charlie Funk. You got it. Alright, bye. Bye. bye Charlie. Take care. You can't, you can't win them all. We're two out of three so far. Charlie Funk, what a guy. I feel bad because we fired two people and then rehired them in the middle of his interview, so maybe that threw him out of his funk. But he's a good guy. And that face is made for the movies. Anyway, thank you guys for, for, for sticking around. I am Mr. Grayson. We're hiring personal assistants multiple. We have two so far. We've so so far we've hired Death himself, uh, Amelia Hamlin, and we have not hired uh, Charlie Funk, who is half half man, half Sasquatch. Um, but we're gonna keep spirits high. Um, not gonna really remind anybody about the donation bar. You know what happens. Rat Queen says, Funk's headed for great things, our loss. You know, I, I think so. I think that might have been, I think we might have slept on the Funk. Am I uh, late for the interview? Oh, uh, sorry, come in. I'm sorry, I just had to park. That's okay. It's little Charles. Little Charles, is it? Mr. Grayson. I thought I left this here. <laughs> Dang, man, I, you see, I, I need a job, but I'm rich already. 
Oh, you are. I'm. I'm. You know. You know. St. Louis, man. Yeah, St. Louis. You're from St. Louis. No, I just. That's what you just signed to me. Oh. I. Yeah. I don't. I don't really know signs or. Yeah, you do. You just did it. Oh wow, that's great. And you're little. Little Charles. Little Charles. Yeah, but I'm gonna be. <laughs> Got new. Um, oh, little Charles, we're getting a lot of Charlie, Charleston, my son's name. The way I said, no, little Charles. Oh, G little Charles. J, J A R L S. Oh, Charles. Or C, depending on, you know, if it's one of those days. Yeah. Um, well, tell me about yourself. Tell me, you know, a little bit about your background. I mean, what's there to say? You know, I was born in 89, underneath the 110, and I've just been hustling ever since, man. It's as easy as that. I went down to Tampa, and I started doing uh, a lot of core exercise, kind of high tempo cardiac workout videos. And about 2001 was when I did my first one. And from there, I made a bunch of investments. You're like 12 years old. I was 12 years old, yes. Yeah, okay. Making aerobic dance videos. Uh, yeah. They were very tasteful. They were sponsored by the Presbyterian Church. Oh. Yes, they were very nice. <clears throat> and then I just said, you know, I need to come down here and I need to write. Well, you're going you're gonna to be my assistant, so, you, you know. No, no, you're going to be my assistant. What? Yeah, I mean... That's, uh, I just, I, I can't work under something. You're gonna be working for me. At least that's what I, you know, listen, I threw you a curveball right here. Uh, but, you know, I just, little Charles is too big to be working under somebody, okay? Okay, okay. I run, I like, I I run like, the operation, I, like, so I don't play operation. I like this tactic. So you'll, you'll interview me for the job. This is fun. You'll interview me for the job of your assistant, and that will kind of help mix things up. I like that. I like that, mm -hmm. Charles, little Charles. Um, cool. So let's turn the let's turn the tables, so to speak. Uh, I'm I'm interviewing for your assistant. So okay. Let's uh, let's go. Hi, I'm Mr. Grayson. What's your experience with semi-automatic weapons? Um, I've never fired hollow point ammunition. No, I don't. Slide lock mechanism on a bolt action rifle. I've shot like a uh, BB gun once. Hip fire, iron sights, sniper scope, 360 no scope, shoot the hoops. My son does love Call of Duty, so I know a couple of these terms. Oh, but I mean, you know all. Okay. As little Charles is big work. Jarls. <clears throat> Alright. Um, what kind of underwear do you wear? Uh, Hanes. You're not supposed to answer that. Oh. That was a test. Oh, okay. You failed. Luckily, I'm compassionate. Let's continue. Okay. If you were an animal, what animal would you be? Um, uh, I think I would, uh, I would be uh, a sloth. Because I don't move as quickly, but I get to where I need to be, and I'm, and I'm pretty well spirited. Do you have long nails like a sloth? Uh, they're pretty, they're kind of cut right now, but they're not. Could you get them long like a sloth? Like grow them out? Yeah, like grow them out. I need talents, man. I need, like, you're gonna play slide guitar with every one of your fingers. Yeah, I can. That's why I can I'm grow them out. So what makes you want to work for Lil Jarvis? Um, you're charismatic. You, uh, I want to get into whatever business you're doing. It's imports and exports. Shipping, handling, smuggling, stripping. <clears throat> but that's only if, you know, the zeros don't add up come tax season. I don't like it, but you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. And and what? Did you have a uh, assistant before this? Oh yeah. And, uh, well, he, he's he's still around, but he is dead. 
Um, his body's around. He got buried over in the cemetery across the street, Rosewood. And, uh, uh, you know, that's why I'm hiring. Uh, I had to kill him, but it was justified. It was self-defense. He threw a hoagie at me. A what? A hoagie. Sandwich roll. Oh, okay. Aluminum foil. It was like 30 miles per hour. That could have knocked my ass out. Anyway, uh, so you're hired. I'm hired? Does that mean I'm hired? Wait, I'm hired for the job? Yeah, so does that mean I'm hired too, to be your assistant? Technically, not, but you're gonna be mine. Not necessarily, um, but I did learn a lot about you. Um, can, I, this, can I have this? No, that's fine. Sorry. Why? You got, what do you got? You got this, this gold? Yeah, I, that's a trophy, that's just a, it's a, it's a it says 1000 G on it, so clearly it belongs to me. Okay, come on, <laughs> stick with it now. 1000 G's, that's me. <laughs> yeah, no. I got the credit, please. I got the degree. Um, that was nice, that was smooth. <clears throat> yeah, it was smooth. That was real smooth. Um, great. Well, would you be able to clear a background check? Uh, do I have to use my real name? Yes. <laughs> so I have your to use real my... name. Oh, it's Lil Jarvis. That's your real name. It's my real name. Yeah. But you uh, would have to use your real name. Okay. Well, let's just say my real name is Colin, and if you look into Colin, he's fine. If you look into Lil Jarvis, you may turn over a rock and all the ants go everywhere, and those ants represent secrets. The secrets that I'd like to stay under the rock. My enemies. Okay. The bad vibes that I conquer. Yeah. I just Everyone's got their secrets, you know. You know what? You know what I mean. Um <coughs> so I'll take that as a no. Oh, okay. Um does, does anyone have any questions for uh little Charles? Uh C Green says I can vouch for Colin. Nice guy. Yeah, he's great. He's great. He uh, is from Ohio, and uh, doesn't have a criminal record. I mean, that's what I, I mean. That's all I know about. Um, do you think that and this is just an idea that you could like maybe give me five thousand dollars? But like it's like a signing bonus, right? We don't give signing bonus. No, not for assistant jobs. Okay, well, or goals are still looking me in the eyes, and it's shiny. I'm just gonna put this over here. Okay. Uh, Ronky asks, uh, "What's your SoundCloud?" Mm. Uh, I had a problem with that. Uh, so there's this uh, website that sells film equipment, rents it out, it's called ShareGrid. I've been using that instead. Because SoundCloud, that's old, that's old, man, that's old. Old, old, old. And I'm, I'm young, man, I'm, I'm a great 37 year old man. I'm ready to, you know, do How the next. You? I'm 37 years old. Oh, okay. And, uh, but and you're sharing music on ShareGrid, the, the, Equipment rental. Yeah, so underneath the uh, C stands is my song. Uh, what's my song called? What's my song called? Okay. Give me a second, man. What's my. I was just thinking about it. I just had it in my eyes. Just knew that. Do they know the name of the song? Uh, do you guys know the name of Lil Jarl's song? It was a big hit. It was on urban radio for like six minutes, man. It was on the charts at the bottom for like two hours. No. Shit. Uh, I'm embarrassed. What a disaster! Says I think the song is called "Hot Booty Trapping." Hot Booty Trapping. Yeah. Wait. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. 
that's when my neighbor Keith, he came on. And it went off. But anyway, um, can I, let's just speak hypothetically. If I brought in a May fridge and I filled it with kidneys that I was going to sell to the Chinese on a flip because I need to pay off these bookies. Would you be cool with that in your break room? It's just a, consider it like a mutual business prospect. You give me some, I give you some, we go to Shenzhen, we give out these kidneys that have been stolen from convicts in other parts of mainland China, and then we sell them to the desperate. I don't think we can conduct any illegal activities in, in our place of work. Oh. Yeah, we can't do anything illegal here. Okay. Um, I, mean, I thought you were cool, man. I really, really thought you were cool, man. So, I mean, so, am I getting a job or like, what's going on? Um, um, I'm dying over I'm sweating. I'm scared, man. Little, I'm scared. Little, I want to make cool. this money. It's okay. Um, but we're going to have to pass. Uh, you're not going to get it. It's nice talking with you. I, I, I didn't get the job. No. I, come on, man. I got to call my mom right after this. What's she going to think? She going to think a little Charles is just a little man. Um, a little boy. I'm sorry. Happens, but now, now when you go to your next interview, you'll be more prepared. And I want to get those little Reeboks too. I know a guy who is good with Adidas. If you want Adidas, I've got. No, I can't. Have no Adidas, man. That's okay. Are you sure I can't have that gold bar? Yeah, you can. Okay. Get All, right. Out of here. All right. All right, little Charles. Dad! Oh. <laughs> who was hey. that guy who just left? He was super cool. Oh yeah, he was little Charles. You little Charles. Yeah. Oh my God, I think I listened to his SoundCloud one time. Hey, hey how's Bobby. it going? Are you on your break? Yes, sir. <laughs> um, I am on my oh, break. Let me take off this pole. Don't worry about um, it. I already went through this process. I know how it works. Guys, everyone, this is Charleston, my son. Dad! Hey, how you doing? I'm so good. It's so good to see you in it's your good. new office. Yeah. Love this flow. Ooh, the, the view is so much better now. One it's floor a, up, you can see so much more. It's a long walk from the mail room, which I have been thoroughly enjoying my time in there. Yeah, how have you been doing in the mail room? I have, oh. Uh -oh. Sorry, Bucks family. Wires got crossed. You're actually fired again. Oh no! Dad, have you had to fire people today? Yeah, uh, can you just step out for a second? Yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom anyway, so I'll be right back. The hard part about this one is, when I called them back the first time to rehire them, it was a time that was pretty short. We've done a, two whole interviews now. When I called them back, what should I say to them, guys? Like, can you help? Can you help? Any tactics you would use? Do what your heart tells you, Grayson. You've reached the voicemail of this family, and we would very much like to hear from you at a later date. I'm just kidding, Mr. Grayson! Oh! Is being a good guy and playing a practical joke on 
you. You got me. Oh my gosh, I'm just in such a good mood after you rehired me and my husband. Yeah. Our little baby. Yeah. She is growing at an exponential rate. Guess what her voice word was? Grayson. The your baby that you gave birth to today has already yeah. said the word Grayson. She's a very quick learner. She is very advanced for her age. I told you she walked out. I think I let her cook too long. Wait, what? This is insane. Okay. No, um, I'm here too! Ah, sorry! I was just fixing a celebratory sandwich for me and my wife because we're going to eat it Lady in the Tramp style to celebrate that we both got hanging again! Oh, and someone's asking, what is the full baby's name? You know, it's uh, uh, Mary, Mary Grayson. Mary Grayson. Yeah. It, it's kind of a nod to uh, Irish Catholic. T-H-E-Y-R-E, -E, not fired, S-U-P-E-R-P-I-Z-Z-A, -Z -Z is a liar. Yes, uh, can I, I'm gonna put you on hold real quick. That's fine. You guys are making this too complicated. I'm gonna have to fire them, but you, well, there's only been five dollars back, so now I have to, I have to fire one and keep one? <laughs> Who am I gonna choose? Oh, don't. Or am I gonna have to fire them both and then rehire one of them back? Hello? Oh, hello! We thought we were enjoying ourselves. Hey, you're both fired. What? Yeah, you're both what? fired. What? Yep. What? Yep. Mr. Grayson! This so is an sorry. emotional roller coaster I would like to stay off of! Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, Mr. Grayson, I, I, I really must object. This is just, this is just ridiculous. You fire us, you hire us back. You, I know, just, I, I know, I know. You, I'm, uh, this is a violation of some ethics code, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. It probably is, Buck. I'm sorry. Burnett, I'm sorry too. Uh, but you're both fired. Goodbye. Uh, what? Now let me call them back and rehire one of them. <laughs> Let's do a poll. Who should we rehire? I got some suggestions for hire the baby. Okay. If you want to hire the baby, just throw up a three. We'll consider that as a vote for the baby. Fine, they're both hired. the baby too. <laughs> Mary! Mary, congrats, you're a writer on everything now. Bye. You're gonna be a writer. Mm -hmm. You have any ideas for episodes? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Mary! Um, is that a yes, Mary? Musical. <laughs> A musical episode, that's good, it's fun. The, uh, the darling daughter, she's just so smart. Um, great, can you put your parents back on the phone? Oh, Mary, mm -hmm. Mary, uh, Mary, she's such a thoughty little dame. Uh, what do you want now? You guys are all hired back again. Ooh. Yeah, you guys all have jobs. I regret to inform you that we have been hired for your competitor's office. <laughs> what? We, <laughs> Mary? We could not stand this kind of abuse from our employer. So we went to your competitor across the street and we told them the situation and we were hired on the spot, both of us, with the promise of a college tuition for each of our children. And we have an office directly across from you. You're working for Ninja now? Can you see me flipping you off? 
in the window. Jesus. Goodbye, Mr. Grace. No, but Renetta, don't. Because 
it. Maybe. I just uh, I have to fire someone. Okay. Um. I'll see you. Oh, bye, Dad. Yeah, see ya. I'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. All right. Now that someone's uh, now that someone's donated. So I think we're I think we're finished with the hiring process with this, but now we will decide which one of the assistants that we just hired is getting fired. Because someone donated five dollars. I agree, Super Pizza. Maybe we should fire people all the time. Okay. So we're getting a pull up. How do I even spell this? Oh. Guys, this is everything now. I'm Mr. Grayson. We just hired three assistants, but now we must fire one. That's the way it goes. The chat has spoken. So we have uh, Death. We have Amelia uh, Hamlin. And we have my son, Charles Grayson. Okay, you guys decide the fate. It's all up to you. It's all up to you. Uh, oh, by the way, it's my birthday right now because I live in Central Time Zone. Happy birthday, Super Pizza! Happy birthday to everyone, everyone here at Everything Now. You're awesome. Thanks for always sticking around and standing by us. Um, get your votes in. We'll decide who gets fired. We love a tie. We love a good tie here and everything now. Oh. Let's all sing happy birthday to Super Pizza. You guys ready in the chat? One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. To you. Happy, happy birthday. great. Everyone should do that. Everyone should really, really do that. Um, that was just one of my ideas. One of my many good ones that I could have being your assistant from here until who knows when. Uh, until, until, uh, you're, you're not going to be my assistant. What? I'm sorry. The, we, we spoke with water? the interviewer board. What? Is this water? Uh, yeah, I can so. Dad, what do you mean? Um, I'm sorry that we spoke with the board and they just think it's, just don't drink water too fast, you'll vomit. You do this all the time where you drink water too fast and they throw off. Stop drinking water. Charleston, stop drinking water. Charleston, stop it. I just got really thirsty. Stop. You always do this when something bad happens. You drink a ton of water. Dad! What do you mean I'm fired? <sighs> Dad! I was doing such a good job! I quit all of my side hustles! 
hold. I just wanted to hold the business. I guess we didn't contact the mailroom yet, so you <sighs> probably still have a job there. Unless oh. you did, but I'm sure you didn't contact them because it's only been like two minutes. So. No, I didn't contact them. I would love to go back to the mailroom. Yeah, you can go back to the mailroom. Okay, cool. As long as I still have a job, the fun's all the house. Which are doing, getting tattoos. Getting tattoos that respect other people's cultures. Super respectful. Mm hmm. Okay. Well. Try, sorry, Charleston. Yeah, you know um, it's okay. That's how it is. That's how it is sometimes. Um, I'll see you at home. Thank you, sir. Hey. Mom said we could go to David Buster's tonight. Yes. yes. I mean, I mean, cool. I'll see you there. See ya. What a wild ride this has been, guys. We've had ups, downs, 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 downs. But thank you for sticking around with me. We found two great assistants, Death and Amelia Hamlin. Uh, Super Pizza, thanks for honoring me with the song after I put you through that all that horrible agony. It's, of course, it's your birthday. Only on your birthday, though. So guys, hey, Mr. Grayson. Hey. Hey, uh, how did the hiring process go? It was rough. It was rough, Dr. Oh. Teacher, but we, I, got, I got myself two assistants, and, I, and we lost two writers, but gained one, which is a baby. Oh, congratulations. Wait, did you say a baby? Yeah, one of our writers is now a baby. Okay. Uh, great. Well, as long as you think they're going to be good for the job, then I'm I sure really they're going to be great. Hands. What? But it was really out of my I don't know if they're going to be good or not, but it, they seem they, they had an idea for a musical, which seemed pretty good. Okay, well, I trust you. I'm sure it's going to be great. Right? Uh, it's yeah. going to be fine? Uh, totally. Okay, great. Well, uh, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. Uh, we've got another great episode for you coming up next Sunday, same time, same place. Uh, Mr. Grayson, is there anything you want to add or let the chat know before we sign off here? Uh, no, thank you guys for your support. This is probably definitely the episode with the uh, largest amount of donations, so we appreciate all of you donating to us. Yes, absolutely. Was... Thank you all so much for your support, and happy birthday, Super Pizza. I heard it was your birthday. Uh, unfortunately, I was getting soup, so no cake for me. I am stuffed full of uh, slishy sloshy soup, uh, but I hope you are eating some delicious cake for all of us. Okay, well, that's the show, ladies and gentlemen. Join us again here at 8 p.m., same time, same place, uh, on Sunday night, and we will see you all then. Now we just got to find somebody to rate. How about our good friend, the Uncle Joe Show? We're going to send you over to Joe. Let him know that we got some new hires, a beautiful baby who I'm sure has a sharp wit and is going to do amazing things in the writer's room. Uh, but that's all for us, folks. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye. Bye, everyone. Uh, Cairo. Thanks, Cairo. Is this your first stream? You're great. Uh, the baby's mother is Wonder Woman, so it's fine. Uh, bye, Rackwine. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.